Hi Ruben, my name is Gwendolyn. I'm going to be looking at your essay on international marketing. First of all, thank you so much for getting the single essay check. Really great to see that you are interested in improving your English writing and that you're also open to getting some feedback in the areas that you can improve and, and need to work on before you take your ELITS exam. Um, yep, uh, I see that you are applying to uh, to get into the healthcare profession and need a 7.0. Um, so let's have a look at your um, essay here. First of all, I thought you did really good on the task response. So you did answer the question um, well in terms of looking at both sides. You know, is it uh, is international marketing invasive, intrusive into a country, and also looking at um, it as an economical form of education to spreading ideas language and culture culture so uh, I thought you did a good job with that you had some good examples um, I would like to have seen maybe more academic sounding examples which is something we you know a particular thing that we teach on the sentence guide course is how to make your examples um, using sort of made up statistics and surveys which just gives a little more weight to um, the essay that you've written and, and makes it sound a little more academic which achieves you a few more extra points when you write um, for the ELITS exam. Um, that said, uh, I thought it was very coherent and cohesive. I can tell that you um, have a good base level of English knowledge so um, overall well done with the essay. There were a few grammar things though, so let's um, read through it and I'll give you some feedback on that. In the current world, international marketing, so here, um, international marketing, because that's not a proper noun, we would use a lowercase i, um, so be note of that, you only use um, uh, an uppercase when it's a proper person, place, or thing. So in the current world, international marketing is commonly considered to be intrusive, especially to the nations where it was not originally held. Therefore, many people believe that this type of marketing, um, marketing here, you know, something where I'd like to help you with on the, the sentence guide course is trying to come up with some different synonyms and words. We're not using the same language all the time. We could have said here promotion. Um, however, many people believe that this type of promotion is economically indispensable to disseminate knowledge and culture. But good vocabulary um, there, Ruben. Well done with that, uh, both with indispensable and disseminate. In this essay, we'll look at both sides of the argument and give my opinion. Good. Good, strong introduction. Maybe something, because you write so well, I would consider start now working on how to um, paraphrase the task response even more, using more different vocabulary to make it sound a little less like just repeating what was in the task response. So I think that's something you can now work on given the level that you're at. That will help increase your score. Okay. Firstly, I think that's fine. I, I generally don't like um, starting any of my paragraphs with firstly, secondly, um, just because there's a lot of other transitional phrases that we could use that will that will give you more points. Um, so try to think of anything else that's more than just a list. I'm great that you've done other things in there um, and you didn't just do firstly, secondly, and to conclude, which would have been rather boring. Um, but maybe here you could have said um, to begin with. Um, on the one hand, either of those would have been a little more interesting than firstly. International marketing often opens new doors for further business. For instance, some TV commercials, plural with an S, and advertisements, which come from other countries, are truly memorable and eye-catching. Good. People may feel captivated, good, and encouraged by these powerful adverts. As a result, they would want to know more about the product and they may end up buying it. I thought that was a good paragraph. I would have liked to have had a little more relevance back to the task response in terms of um, how that related to whether or not that was intrusive or invasive into a country and whether or not that was a, a good form of education or spreading ideas. Um, wasn't explicit to me how that related, this particular par paragraph related to the task response. Moreover, such marketing may divulge information 
good vocabulary about traditions, ideas, customs, spreading culture and knowledge throughout the world. Take global business as an example. Some companies introduced their business and culture in another country's local market, not only by promoting their brand, comma, but also by introducing and sharing their knowledge and customs. It's good here that I can see here this when you're more trying to um, relate to the task response, but I, I do think, Ruben, that we could help you with more stronger um, stronger ideas and stronger examples. I thought you write very well, but I th your ideas and examples are a little weak. Um, I'm going to read this one and then I'll give you some ideas of what I would have liked to have seen here. On the other hand, there is an argument that this form of marketing is aggressive and unethical. Good, good vocabulary. Many local companies may feel violated and see international marketing as a threat to their business. For instance, small businesses eventually cannot compete, which can have a great impact on their profits. Great, I mean here, you do write really well already, Ruben, so if you were to come on the course, I would try to help you increase your vocabulary and try to replace some of these lower level vocabulary words with higher level vocabulary words, which is going to increase your lexical resource score uh, and every bit of those points will add up and can make a difference between getting a 6.5, which might be where you are now, to getting up to that 7. Um, so here you could have used a word instead of uh, can have a detrimental impact on their profits. You know, that would be a word I would replace great with. To sum up, having considered both sides of the argument, I believe that international marketing can be beneficial to the economy of other countries and for the promotion of various cultures. Nevertheless, I think that it should be monitored and people should be aware of its positives and negative. Uh, um, here, because we've got um, the aspects becomes plural, is the plural part of this, um, I guess these two phrases which work together, we would therefore wouldn't have the S on positive or the S on negative. So we would say, would be aware of its positive and negative aspects on culture. It seemed like there was another grammatical thing that I saw when I read through it, but I don't the first time around, but didn't recall it when I read through it the second time around. Let me see if I can find that. No, I think I must have picked that up, Ruben. Okay, you know, one thing, you know, you, your writing is very good. Um, you've got a, a good range of vocabulary already. I would like to try to increase that in terms of some of this lower level vocabulary because it will make a difference, I think, at the moment. Uh, increasing some of the vocabulary from getting to sort of a 6.5 area up to maybe a 7.0. But then also your ideas, Ruben. So here, I mean, I would like to have seen something about, um, um, you know, talking a little more specifically about the um, task response. So for example, um, you could have said, you know, uh, to begin with, uh, many see that international marketing is an intrusion into another country's culture and beliefs. For example, a recent car commercial by Audi, which aired in Saudi Arabia, showed a woman driving the car. This was seen as a, a, an insult in the Muslim culture, where traditionally uh, women um, aren't allowed to, to drive vehicles. Um, therefore, um, this particular advertisement um, by Audi was seen as um, very intrusive into that particular country. And then another way, you know, talking about the economical form of education in terms of spreading ideas and language, you know, maybe talking about, um, <clears throat> you know, the advertising itself, which can often be in an English language, can teach people how to... Um, um, learn a, a different language. So, I mean, although I thought your writing was really good, you know, something I would like to help you on additionally would be maybe help you generate ideas and um, academic sounding examples to go with that. Um, but overall, really good job, Ruben. Um, I'll send you some information on the course. If it's something that you're interested in, do let Ben or I know. Um, 
And if you've got any question, again, let either of us know. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, Ruben, I hope that was helpful. Um, I wish you all the best, and uh, bye for now.